Just like I showed you, put your rigging in, knock your cinch, opposite side of what you're riding with so you can hook it back here. You ain't got to climb out in the arena. Take your hook. Most of the time, the stock contractor will provide hooks. Don't take them home with you. Lacey, just like y'all do, everybody knows how to saddle a regular saddle horse, right? Just take two wraps. Sometimes you have to take three if you got a smaller horse and a bigger look. Bigger scent, you gotta take three wraps, we take three wraps. The main deal, you gotta have two. Three usually is the most you need to do. If not, you can't won't be able to pull it with four wraps. You already got somebody, usually when I was right handed, I rode right handed, had a glove on my hand. Only need one guy to pull the side that you ride with. First thing I do is set it up here like this and get it somewhat snug and check your D's. My ladder goes are longer on this side, so I'd have him pull. Pull a little bit on this side. Try to keep it even pull to where your cinch is not like this or like this. It's kind of even, even pull on both sides. Once you pull it so tight, kind of slide your, you slide it back a little bit, it'll, it should fall in the spot. Okay. Tell so Brad, give me a little bit on that side. When he's pulling, it's going to want to go this way. So hold your D-ring and your hand hook. Got to keep it from rolling over. You want it to still stay in the middle. A little bit. Okay, see how I laced that through there? Okay, just went through, back through itself. Pull it tight. Brad do the same thing to the other side. I'll give you mine, he'll give me his. Take that through right where you came from. If you can't get it through, take it on your ladder go and pull your ladder go through a little bit. See how that trick works? That way you can get hold of your tip. And then you can pull that one you gave Brad on through. Pull the old main out of the way. Just like we barrack riders are wild, leave them fly, okay? You ain't got to worry about them, they ain't, they ain't gonna step on them, they ain't gonna bother you none. She go right there, and that right there helped that rigging from sliding over the front end as well. Just a little extra. You get a, hold, you get a horse, that, a young horse, he'll blow a little bit, and you pull it, it feels good, and he breathes. Some of it's like this. Usually it don't breathe till you nod, mm -hmm. and then the rigging slips. So if it slips a little bit, this is gonna stop it. Not necessarily all the time, but just a little extra, extra bonus. And just get done bucking that horse, you get ready to get off on his pickup man, start running your hand in the rigging. When that horse leaves, you should be scooting up and nodding.